All right, guys, welcome back. Video blog again. Um, talking about nutrition 101, just very, very basic nutrition. I know that we've had little nutrition seminars, and, and we had Dr. Blana come in um, from Next Level Health come in and talk about um, nutrition and stuff like that. Um, I just want you to know how big of a, a, a piece this is. Um, we, we, I met a lady the other day um, who was, who was the, the, the stepmom of one of one one clients. And, um, she had lost literally 100 pounds over the last year, all based on diet. And I said, what did you do? What, what was your secret? Because it's interesting to know what, what, different, what people do, because there's not just one way. Um, but some people do it successfully and they can hold on to it and stick with it and some people just fall, you know, gain the weight right back. So she's like, well, I want low carb. I'm like, okay, that's great. What does that mean? And she, she went on to say that, that basically she ate, you know, meat and vegetables. Um, she, she didn't really eat fruit. Um, or if she did, it was like literally a strawberry, <laughs> um, you know, a few blueberries, stuff like that. Like she just ate really, really low carb. Um, I asked her, well, what did you, you have for breakfast that day? She said she had bacon and eggs in the morning. Um, she had chicken salad for lunch, literally just like chicken salad, no bun or anything, just chicken salad. And then um, for dinner, she had a big salad of meat. And um, she said, that's it. And it was, if she snacks, she has, you know, some almonds um, or uh, I forgot what else, some beef jerky or whatnot. And, and really, she said that was her thing. And it, she was 50 five-ish years old, 52 years old, um, and she, it took her a year and she, she lost 100 pounds doing nothing but this. And so I just want you to realize, and I think you do, but how important um, this nutrition thing is. Uh, again, no matter if you're trying to look better, feel better, perform better, um, how important this nutrition thing is. You know, if, if you're a you know, three-hour marathoner, if you adjust your nutrition, okay, you can jump to a 255 or 250 marathoner just by you know, you know having your body be a better fat burning machine as opposed to constantly be relying on carbs. Here's what happens when people initially go to paleo. And so I wrote this up here. I'm going to come back to this 80, 100 percent thing in a second. Um, because they go grainless and they go sugarless, their carb intake goes down. They might feel a little tired because they're constantly running on carbs and they love you know they carb load and blah 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 blah. They eat a ton of good vegetables and meats. They throw in some nuts and some seeds and some fruit. So really they go from like a ton of carbs down to less. And so now what happens is that because the body is running on, I don't know, 150, 150 grams of carbs a day, it doesn't have that carb source to use um, as energy. And so it has to, instead of relying on that sugar, when I want to say sugar, I mean that carb, since it doesn't have that carb, it burns your, it has to use fat and your body becomes fat adapted. And so most of the time through going paleo, when your body turns and becomes a fat burning machine, um, Mark Sisson calls you a fat burning beast, so I'm going to quote him there, but you become a fat burning beast just by going paleo, by dropping those carbs. Um, and it's amazing the results that people will see. Now, you might feel a little tired sometimes. Um, and I'm not saying you never eat carbs because everybody's a little different here. Um, and so this is where, if you have any questions, make sure you come talk to us or email us or you know, blah, blah, blah here. Um, if you're a high-end athlete that is you know, working out five, six days a week, you probably should eat more than 30 grams of carbs a day. You should probably have 150 grams of carbs a day or something. Now, it depends on who you are and your situation. If you're trying to drop a lot of weight and you have weight to drop and performance is not your thing, if, if looking better and feeling better is your thing, well then you probably can go with 50 grams of carbs a day and be fine. You might get a little groggy at times, especially at the beginning, but you'll get a lot better at it. The last thing here, when the way of trying to attach a percent to paleo, well I'm 80% percent paleo half of the time. I don't know what that means. But anywho, um, to be 80% paleo, to be 100% paleo, to be 90% paleo, I don't really I don't really know. I don't want to attach a number to these things. Um, and I don't really know. I know people talk about cheat days and stuff like that, but I, I want you to know that, that this we don't see this as being a, a diet. We see this as being a lifestyle. Okay, we want you to sleep a ton because you need to sleep a ton so you can rest and recover. Uh, and there's so many good things that happen with sleep. We don't want you to de-stress because stress is just one other form of 
uh, thing that can cause inflammation, just like stress in your body when you pick up a really heavy deadlift, you know, or squat really heavy, how your legs get sore. That internal stress can you know, work the same way, you know, from your job or whatever it may be. Um, but then the nutrition is, is the same way. Um, we want to really push you and make sure that you understand that, you know, when you have that big bowl of you know Cheerios in the morning. Uh, versus, hey, I'm going to have some bacon and eggs, or I'm going to have last night's pot roast, you know, with some veggies, or whatever it may be. Um, that can really negate a lot of the stuff that we do here. And, and every single success that we've had in this gym has not been because, you know, they squat really heavy, or because they've done nothing. Really. It, it's because they take care of their nutrition stuff at home. And so, um, this is really why this works. You know, you, you take somebody who's eaten 500 grams of carbs a day down to 100 grams of carbs a day. Their body doesn't have that sugar to burn. It goes to the fat. All of a sudden, they start losing fat. And um, it's pretty stinking awesome. So, guys, Paleo 101, Nutrition 101. Um, if you have any questions or comments or, or want us to discuss anything specific within anything nutrition, um, let us know. Um, you can you know, shoot us an email um, or write something on the board or actually you can probably comment to this video right here and um, we'll see it and we'll, we'll make sure that we um, we'll, we'll address it. So thanks for watching.